Today I'm going to talk about my game. The title of my game is Pasta and Tea Party. It relates with the theme because the main character, Amon, has a power to jump high, like really high. Um, I love that you decided to use text to speak. Um, do you have like the multiplications also working and the division? Yeah. I wanted to include those, but I just tried to do a three levels map. You could use the keys to move left and right to collect smileys and frownies falling from the sky. Um, I was wondering what the monster looked like. Already coded in your um. Uh, it's not your game? coded yet, but basically mm -hmm. it's a giant slipper with a face. <laughs> I really like this game. Um, I think it would be really cool for you to use the different uh, Minecraft mechanics, like the just the survival stuff. I think I should make the game look more realistic. This is how you play my game. Okay. So to play hard mode, you press H, which summons big growing laser, and you need to dodge the tiny squares. I would like finish the like the last level and I would also add some uh, like bug fixes. I just encourage you to just keep trying and like Tim was saying, keep squishing those bugs and if you come across obstacles, just get over those obstacles and keep going and keep pressing forward. The most uh, beautiful thing that you can do in your life is where your work and play is combined and I think gaming is the best place. It's fun, period. You guys are the future of the game industry. And, um, you know, if there's a game out there that you don't see yourself in, then make it. Most of the things I used were operators, variables, one green flag click blocks, forever loops, and last but not least, if then block. It's not just about the competition here. Um, you guys have picked up some great skills, okay? Um, you do not have to be a developer. You do not have to be coding in some language. Chat GPT is going to help you out there as, as things change. Uh, what you're really learning here is how to solve a problem. Right, like you have to have the technological the technical know-how to put a game like this together to make sure it runs smoothly to really develop it uh so that it moves and breathes right but then you also need to have that spark of creativity and that's where the beautiful adaptability comes in you know how much can we have the same thing over and over again who is going to create the next big different game who's going to add that luster that that special touch to it are these kids. <laughs>